Here we are, in at back alley bikes, day before the race, and we are whipping up breakfast. Oats and banana, getting ready for a big night in the back of the Subi. Well, this is my first time choosing gravel, and I knew I had a lot to learn. Looking around at the start line, I noticed a lot of road racing teams and kits, clearly going for a much sleeker, lightweight setup than my ultra vest adventurer look, with food hanging out of every pocket. Nevertheless, I positioned myself in the top 10 for the first 30 minutes of the race to be able to be in a safe position to gauge things. This is the inaugural running of Edition Zero Gravel, and really the first of its kind for New Zealand. Located in Waimati, the course was 243 kilometres long with 3,350 metres climbing. The race sold out with 165 people lining up. Getting a bit complacent with my positioning meant there were a few surges by the front runners missed, forcing me to chase back on with a few keen guys around me. Looking back, these efforts were 15 to 20 minutes long with a normalised power of 360 to 370 watts. Just throw my power away before I'd even reach the first aid station. Another faux pas was overdressing, meaning the first aid station that should have taken 20 seconds ended up taking two minutes removing layers. After this, another big chase with this team in the red kit in order to rejoin the lead. The eventual winner was part of this team. As it was just seven days after climbing 10,000 metres and just over 19 hours for Le Petit Brevet, it was ambitious to think that my legs would be recovered. This, paired with the unfamiliar position leaning forward crouched over the brake hoods, meant the inevitable happened. Severe dual leg cramping of the hamstrings and calves. Just like that, the lead pack was gone and I was on my own for the next five hours. Turns out that first three hours 45 was a solid effort for me anyway, with a normalised power of 318 watts and an average heart rate of 161. I didn't really mind being by myself, as riding in a bunch was new to me and it was taking a fair bit of brain power and focus. I'd learned enough about road racing for one day, and I was overseeing some of these guys throwing their empty gel packets off the side of the road. Now I was just looking forward to a straight time trial to the finish, even though I knew I was hemorrhaging time, especially in the next 80 kilometres as it was straight into a headwind. A few quick shout outs, firstly Rufus at Backerly Bikes for letting me borrow his carbon wheel set. Also Marlene's for the Maxxis receptor tyres. These are pretty ideal thanks to the gravel being quite smooth. And also Rhino Power for the electrolytes and carbs keeping me fueled all day. The last of the three main climbs was definitely the toughest and had some decent views. From there it was just 40 kilometres to the finish. The rain came down for the final 30 odd minutes, so I was pretty pleased when I rolled back through Waimati to finish off the race with a few laps of the velodrome. And that was the day. 8 hours and 35 minutes, normalised power 290 watts and average heart rate 157. Good day out. 242 k's this week. Last weekend you did 300 with Lepique Brevet. Uh, those legs must be just about worn out. Could not have said it better myself. Thanks for watching.